think in this room we're all agreed that software should be cited. But my personal experience from running an open source um, software project is that often it isn't. Um, I see publications that are clearly used in the software because the models are very distinctive and either it's not cited at all or it cites um, the PhD thesis of ten, from 10 years ago the guy who started the project off originally. So why is it that people don't cite software? So um, firstly, they may be, or quite likely, don't know that they should or that they must. Um, and secondly, they don't know how. So our the tool that we developed here is hopefully going to address that problem. The website address is bit.ly should have said S-H-O-L-D-A site. Yes, so introducing should have site. Should have site is a one stop for anyone who is concerned with questions such as should I cite the software I use or is should I not? There is a lot of software you use in your research which will you which you will not cite, such as your Microsoft Word or Excel, well Git, very often we don't cite that. So we created a place where you can go and in a safe environment learn if you should or should not cite something. You go for a series of questions, in fact only four questions is enough to decide if you should cite something or not. The key one is, does the software ask you to cite it? Because if it does, then game over, you should cite it. But if it doesn't, you have to then decide if the software played a critical part in your research and if other people need to know which software you use instead of in order to be able to rep reproduce the results that you're reporting on. The same applies then to data. If you manipulated your data in some specific software, you should give details of that. And even if you haven't actually done those things, and you don't feel like, well, actually I've created you know, a little picture or something, you should think about, does, do the authors of the software, do they actually depend on academic credit for funding? Because if they do, you can just as well cite them and help them out. You still use their tools, they still put their time into it, so why not? So this website, except for having this lovely, you know, if A, then go there, if B, can go somewhere else. Tell you how to cite software, and well, let's start with uh, summarizing it. We have, uh, we have a few flowcharts, which basically like, summarize the process. You can pick up those flowcharts and just stick it at the end of your presentation. So it's software carpentry, uh, if you're teaching, uh, teaching about software practices, this, is, uh, this one was particularly developed for uh, blogs because it's all done in a comic style. This is the corporate version if you want to be serious. We cover that as well. Um, uh, we also have examples of how to use it. So a little kind of from the world of academia. Susie, Susie wants to use, use certain software but she's not sure. She, went, she, went, she goes through the flowchart, she decides, okay, I have to, I have to size it. And then she comes across the problem, which is, you know, the, the software says, oh, you can cite any of those papers. And that's why we also have the part of how to size software to give people guidance about that. Um, first of all, how to find where the potential citation may be hiding, but also, you know, what to do. If you have a DOI, this is pretty easy. This is the tool that will allow you to create citation out of it. We didn't create this tool. I'm really proud of that. <laughs> <laughs> um, but if there's no DOI, we still give you another tool that will construct the citation online, and we also point out that if there's a paper attached to the software, um, then you should probably cite the paper if it has a link to the software. If it doesn't, then you probably should cite it. Um, and that involved quite a lot of technical work as well as this conceptual model. So uh, it's all done in GitHub. Uh, most of those recommendations are pulled from the SSI guidelines on how to cite and when to cite uh, software. <coughs> and then we have the licenses. So we stole uh, the license from Software Carpentry and gave them credit. So we hope that they adopt what we've done. And the Kobe bits are under something liberal as well. So the, the compliment story in Markdown, which later is being rendered in HTML, so then those HTMLs are coded to GitHub pages. So Markdown, which is very close to the first. This website is actually live. You can go on it, you can download the flow charts in whatever forms. 
Uh, we would like to see people actually using it, uh, sending their undergrad students, their professors to this resource, and helping us. To now there is no excuses for not saying software. Yes. <laughs>